So I want to say a few introductory <laughs> remarks. Um, welcome to Books and Browsers 7, Back from the Dead. So we're really excited to be here and uh, really happy to have you guys with us. Uh, we think it'll be a really interesting show. Um, so, and I know some of our attendees will come in, some today, some tomorrow. Um, so connect with people while you can. Um, but I think there's a large core group staying over uh, both days. Um, this is a slightly different books and browsers than we've had before because we're focusing on different kinds of media and expression. Um, and we're going to be asking um, everyone at the end of today, uh, in part, to spend 30 minutes with us brainstorming on um, how we sort of level the playing field to get more people engaged in these new forms of expression, both on the creator side and on the technology side. So uh, we'll do that right at the end of the day. Unfortunately, Corey Pressman, who was the last talk of the day, couldn't be with us, so we're using that time for a uh, constructive purpose. Um, so I want to thank uh, everybody who helped put this together really quickly. Uh, so UC Davis, my institution, um, and then of course the Frankfurt Book Fair uh, and the German Book Office uh, donated their staff time extensively through this. Um, I, and I, if folks are around, just to wave their hands uh, so that people who, if you don't know who these people are, you can, uh, if you have a problem, you can go to them uh, any time you want. So uh, this is Hannah Johnson, um, Pablo Defendini, Porter Anderson. I don't know if Grace is in the front or in the, there she is. Elizabeth Berman, who may be in the back. Um, and then Amy Azurito. I don't know if she's in the front either, who's also from UC Davis. So thank you to all of you for helping make this happen. Uh, any, any conference, small, medium, or large, is, a, is a sort of scales to a certain extent, but just getting a conference done is a certain amount of work regardless of uh, its size and venue. So um, I much appreciate that. Also want to briefly thank uh, Gray Area Theater uh, for uh, allowing us to use this space. Uh, if you remember a couple years ago, if you were here, uh, we were one of the first uh, new uh, um, conferences in their space, and uh, it's, this is looking very nice, so we're very happy about that. Um, and I also want to thank Vital Source as a sponsor uh, for the event. Um, they uh, were really generous um, and helped make this possible. Uh, and of course, uh, I really want to thank all of our speakers for sometimes traveling for a long way to be here. Uh, and thank you so much for participating and sharing uh, what you're learning and what you're thinking about. Um, so uh, just a couple quick slides uh, on various points. Um, this is Gray Area. Gray Area is an awesome group. If you are not in the city, um, they specialize in sort of art, science, culture, tech. Um, somewhat similar to iBeam if you're a New Yorker and if you know what iBeam is. Um, but they're a wonderful group and, and they host a lot of training classes um, here in the city for coding and a lot of events. So please look them up and, and patronize them if you're local because they just do awesome work. Um, you're in the Mission District of San Francisco. If um, it's, it's a very uh, on the edge community, a lot is happening in this community. Uh, there are a lot of tensions with tech and sort of old San Francisco. Um, and just be aware of that and hat tip to Mission Local, which is a marvelous online newspaper um, that was uh, created in part by UC Berkeley Journalism um, and is one of the more vibrant community newspapers uh, in the country right now, along with a few others in the area. Uh, so plug for them. Uh, it's also um, right after Halloween, so Dia de los Muertos. So um, there are some exhibits here and there. Um, uh, there's a, a restaurant uh, that's doing some exhibits uh, and some uh, works of art if you want to wander down um, and take a look at what they have. Support the area. Uh, a couple of other hat tips. Um, one, uh, is to uh, a group that's relatively new um, by Charlotte Abbott and Robin Seaman. Can you guys stand up? Called Bay Area Women in Publishing. 
Um, so this is an increasingly vibrant group which is trying to hold meetings on a regular basis. So if you're part of that community or interested in that community, please see them. Um, and then finally, our partners, Swiss Next, um, they are doing uh, a long string of exhibits on Dada. This is 100th anniversary of Dada. Um, and this is coordinated with City Lights. They're holding uh, their own uh, reception on um, Friday night, I believe. Um, uh, and so anyway, you look up on the Swiss Next site, there's a special event and uh, you're more than welcome to uh, take advantage of that. Um, finally, the, the talks will be recorded and um, the University of Michigan Journal of Electronic Publishing uh, we'll try to gather talks post uh, or through the, through the event and, and post the event. Um, where are you? Can you please stand up? There you are. Great. Thank you so much for doing that. This is maybe the third time they've done this with us, and it's really a marvelous thing, and people keep coming back to uh, JEP, the journal, um, for, you know, year after year. So it's, it's a great resource. Um, so with that, um, thank you. And I would like to introduce Brewster Kale, uh, who will launch us. Um, quick note on logistics. All speakers before your session, please see one of us so that we can get your screens loaded. If we need to swap laptops, we'll do it then. Um, also, there is a dark room timer uh, on the front row. And if you are a speaker, I will be setting that, hopefully, if I don't get too tired and totally zone out. And um, please pay attention to that, okay? That will be your truth um, to, to avoid me yanking you off the stage. Um, I, I accept no liability for broken limbs. Um, okay, with that, thank you. And Brewster, thank you so much. <laughs>